hello everyone welcome to solve this nice math lumped algebra problem so uh, here we have a divided by a plus a is equals to two times of a and we solve this problem for the values of a so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will check that which of these roots are solution of this equation and which of these roots are extraneous root also at the end uh, i can explain the term uh, extraneous root so please watch this video at the end so uh, also we solve this problem for two methods and i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so in first method uh, here you see that in the denominator of left hand side we have a plus a when we add uh, a plus a it will becomes here 2 times of a is equals to in the right hand side we have 2a so uh, here in the right hand side the denominator uh, is 1 and now here we need to cross multiply the terms and when we multiply a 1 with this a and we multiply 2a with this a so here we cross multiply the terms and 1 times of a is equals to a and 2a multiplied by a is written as 2a multiplied by a in this form. So further you see here we have a is equals to this is 2 times of 2 becomes 4 and a multiplied by a is equals to a square. So uh, here in order to find the roots of this equation we need to move this a to the right hand side. This is the positive a when we move in the right hand side it will become negative a and we get 4a square minus a is equals to 0. And further you see here both of these terms involve a so that uh, here we will take common a from uh, both of these terms so when we will take common a we get here the remaining values are from here we get four times of a minus from here we get only one is equals to zero so here we easily make the factors of this equation and now further in the next step uh, we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write a is equals to 0 and the second case is we write 4a minus 1 is equals to 0. So this is the our first root of the given equation and now here in order to find the other root we need to solve this equation. So in this equation we first move this minus 1 to the right hand side and it will be written as 4a is equals to plus 1. And uh, for the values of a, we need to divide both of the sides by 4. So here we divide by 4 on both of the sides and it will be written as in this form. So you see here this 4 is cancelled out by this 4 and we will get here a is equals to 1 divided by 4. So uh, this is the value of a, uh, this is the second root of a which we get here in this equation. And now in the next steps we need uh, to verify these two roots and we will check that which one of the roots are solution of the given equation and which of these roots are extraneous root. So here uh, for verification of the roots we need to copy down given question statement here it is a is equals to uh, a divided by a plus a is equals to 2a and here in this side we verify a is equals to 0 in this side we will verify a is equals to 1 over 4 so further in the next step uh, here we first verify a is equals to 0 and we uh, put a is equals to 0 on both of the sides of this equation and you see here this will becomes uh, this is the 0 when we put a equals to 0 here it will become 0 divided by 0 plus 0 is equals to 2 times of 0 and here we see that this will becomes 0 divided by 0 plus 0 becomes 0 
and this is two times of zero is also equals to zero and here we have one thing uh, you know about that this will becomes zero by zero form so uh, this zero by zero form uh, is also called the indeterminate form okay this is the uh, indeterminate form okay or in other words we just say that uh, this form is uh, undefined form okay this is uh, undefined form so if left hand side is undefined this means that uh, a equals to zero is not satisfied this equation so if a is equals to zero is not satisfied this equation then it means that a is equals to zero be the extraneous root of the given equation okay so here uh, we little bit explain about the extraneous root and extraneous root are the roots uh, which is not satisfied the given equation or given question statement is called the extraneous roots and the roots which satisfy the given question statement is called the solution of that equation so here uh, we conclude about a equals to zero is that it is the extraneous root because it is not satisfied our given question statement and now here we move towards our second root of a and the second root of a is a is equals to 1 divided by 4 so when we put this root into the left hand side of a given equation it will be written as the uh, after substituting it it will becomes here 1 divided by 4 and 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4 is equals to 2 times of a and also a is equals to 1 over 4 so that here we need a more simplifications and we will get here this will becomes 1 over 4 divided by here we need to take the LCM of this term and its LCM will becomes here 2 over 4 and this will be cancelled out each other this will becomes 2 times of 2 is 4 and we get here 1 over 2 this 4 is cancelled out by this 4 and we get here 1 over 2 is equals to 1 over 2 so this means that a is equals to 1 over 4 is satisfied our given question statement so a is equals to 1 over 4 be the only solution of the given equation and now here we again solve this problem for the second method and in second method we need to copy down given question statement here the given question statement is a divided by a, a divided by a plus a is equals to 2 times of a so here in this case uh, uh, in the second method we write it as a divided by a plus a becomes 2a is equals to 2a so this a is cancelled out by this a and we get here 1 over 2 is equals to 2a and for the values of a we move this 2 in the left hand side and we will get here a is equals to 1 over 4 so this is the value of a which we get here from a first method and verify in first method so this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos